welcome back to seven engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for two big mistakes in the construction of plinth beam which is under construction already they did plinth level which is above from the road level up to two feet now after completion of steel reinforcement in plinth beam they will place this plinth beam on the top of this plinth level guys you can see this is under construction now i will guide you for two big mistakes in the construction of this plinth beam guys you can see we have two numbers at the bottom three at the top level which is compression zone guys you can see that is road level and here the plinth level is above up to two feet from the road level now what is the big mistake here the first big mistake guys you can see practically this is end of the beam where we don't have any extension of the plinth beam that's why because at the end we have this column to make a good bond between steel and concrete they should provide development length so the upper portion steel reinforcement should be run to the downward side and the down two numbers of bars should be bent to the upward side to make a good bond between steel and concrete but they did not provide which is very important and the length of the development length you can keep up to 0.42d but unfortunately they didn't provide but it should not be less than 6 inches it's also depend on the depth of the beam guys you can see we have three numbers in upper portion of this beam so three numbers of bars should be bent to the downward side if you don't provide it can be slipped from each other inside concrete after some time so therefore it should be provided at the downward side the length should not be less than six inches in the downward side steel reinforcement should be go to the upward side to make a good bond between steel and concrete this is the other beam coming from the so this is short beam and the other one this is long beam both sides should be bent at the end of this beam which is connected to this rcc column which size is 15 by 15 inches here we have eight numbers of steel rods dia is 16 millimeter and you can see guys we have five numbers of steel rods in this plinth beam two at the bottom three at the top guys you can see this is the other beam at the both sides they didn't provide the development length so therefore if it is connected to the other beam so the development length should be provided at the other column but now this is end of the beam so therefore development length is important to provide here the second big mistake guys you can see also we they provided two numbers of bars at the bottom three at the top so this is the opposite of the proper design that's why because three or four numbers of bars should be provided at the bottom bottom portion is called tension zone and concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression but they did opposite design next guys you can see the spacing of stirrups hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree the hooks length should not be less than 3 inches already they did wrong design for this steel reinforcement so if you are working on construction site or if you want to build your house so remember you should hire the structural engineer to guide you technically and to provide you the structural design which can help you for the project and it will take long time so if you are making the design by a steel fixer so you will face more problems in the future for any construction if that is commercial building or residential building next guys you can see the spacing the first step is placed up to six inches spacing so this is the other big mistake and the others are provided at the distance of nine inches so these are some common mistakes as i discussed the front of you in this short video next guys you can see the hooks length should not be less than three inches spacing should be provided at the distance of l by four closely after l by four you can increase you can see guys at this project you can't see any development length so this is one of the big mistake which is very important to provide development length but you can't see at this construction if you are working on construction site so be careful especially for these technical terms which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye